Arena Sabalenka just won the Australian Open and everybody talks about her firepower on the forehand and of course on her serve. However, I think her backhand really is the true unsung hero. She's incredible in using her backhand to set up her forehand. She's also really, really good in defending with her backhand and getting depth and yes, power on the ball and creating opportunities that she can then immediately jump on also with her backhand. And in this video, I'm going to show you three things that players, I believe of any level, should try to copy because they will make your backhand a weapon. Number one, it all starts with a good unit turn. And I still absolutely love the coaching cue, shoulder over your chin. And in the footage that I'm going to show you now, we see her head on. And what you want to work on is that you turn so much that your right shoulder blade, if you're a right hander, of course, is pointing towards the court. If you get your shoulder around, your hip will follow. And that is the key to really start that loading that you need to get pop on the ball. This is really great footage here. Thank you, slow-mo tennis. So let's look at how much Arena Sabalenka is turning. And her chin actually literally touches her shoulder. So it's coming all the way around. And you see, of course, that her hip follows. These two are connected, of course. And since we're looking at her straight on, we can now also look at this checkpoint, her right shoulder blade, we can see from straight on, actually so much that we can see her left shoulder blade as well. So that is exceptional loading right there. Again, chin on your shoulder, and you can literally try that in front of a mirror or just do what I'm doing here. Set up your camera right in front of you and, yep, hit a couple of balls. I'm using my Titan ball machine, but you can just ask somebody to either toss some balls or just hit some balls. Or you just film a rally. Either one works. So chin. Yep, definitely had it there. So that's one way to check if you have enough turn. Number two is you want to load your back leg and really use your back leg to drive into the ball and get a wide stride into the ball. So that's why you're seeing players work on lunges all the time to work on that drive in. I'm going to use the same footage here to show you how she's driving from her outside leg or back leg, the leg that is closer to the side where she's going to hit the ball, how she's using that to drive into the ball. So I want you to now look at this leg here. You see how she's planting it here? And now it's a long stride in, and this is where massive power is developed, right there. This pushing off that outside leg, transferring her body weight into the ball. You won't see any powerful backhands, definitely not Sabalenka's backhand, with an upright stance. It's all about using the entirety of her body, and it's in that wide stride that you're transferring your body weight into the ball. Keeping the extension of your left arm. A lot of recreational players struggle with this. They're pulling out of the shot, whether it's because they didn't set up properly, meaning they didn't space properly, or they're trying to just control the ball with a very, very short swing. You do not want to get the T-Rex swing. You'll notice on Sabalenka's backhand that her left arm is very active and it is the off hand, the non-dominant hand, that is really facilitating and directing that forward swing. You want to have a long extension. You'll notice with Sabalenka how long it stays extended and only long after the ball is gone, long, 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 the ball is gone. That's when she comes around and she breaks up high over her right shoulder. And guess what? I actually like the good old left-handed forehand drill because you're playing with both sides of your body when you play with a two-handed back and you see how awkward I look, how little we use our non-dominant hand. I don't have anything against this drill, this one-hander, left-handed shot making, to just learn how to use and extend that left arm a little bit longer. If you're interested in more videos, also a lot of videos where I'm actually analyzing points of the pro players, do check out my Patreon membership site. You're getting first dibs for camps, workshops, and you're joining a monthly coaching call. So do check out my Patreon.